Okay, hi there, and welcome to another in our series of macroeconomic essay plans, helping to prepare for the 2019 economics papers. This question focuses on the economics of customs unions. Here's the question. Uh, there's a bit of preamble at the top about trade between the UK and the EU. The question we're going to plan is as follows. Examine the argument that the UK economy will be better off by remaining inside the European Union Customs Union, use diagrammatic analysis to support your answer. A 25 marker. So this is one of the most topical, important issues in 2019. Brexit uh, referendum, of course, was three years ago. Likely to be in the minds of the examiners. Check to see where the European Union fits into your own exam board specification. The question we're going to go through is about the customs union, and the key point here is that the customs union is different to the single market. Single market establishes common rules, regulations to promote the free movement of goods and services and people within the European Union. This is this question is specifically about the customs union. So that, of course, is where there's a free trade agreement within the area, but then the countries that are participating in the customs union. Uh, put in place a common external tariff on goods and services coming in from outside. So let's plan the essay. Here's the question. Examine the arguments. The UK economy will be better off by staying inside the European Union Customs Union. Use a diagram to support your answer. For a 25 marker, our recommendation is that you build two strong knowledge application and analysis points. Build them, develop them using chains of reasoning, evaluate as you go, and then come to your final conclusion. So, you know, there's a limit to what you can do in 35, 40 minutes, but it's important to be really precise. My first KA point is that uh, I define how a customs union involves a common external tariff on imports from non-member countries. My first point is that staying inside helps to facilitate trade with our biggest trade partner. Just under 50% of our trade is with the European Union. There's a lot of cross-border trade. Uh, lots of component parts, for example, for cars and component parts for machinery and for the housing construction. Inside a customs union, uh, UK exports would not be subject to the so-called rules of origin checks, which can be very time consuming and costly. So inside the customs union makes it less costly, for example, for transnational corporations, both to invest and produce in the UK and then export to the EU. Honda, for example, said that it relies on over 300 trucks arriving from the continent every day. So any delay at their factories at the border post would, would be very costly. So extra friction costs outside the customs union would lead to higher prices, lower real, lower real incomes and possibly less investment. The counterpoint, <clears throat> the alternative point, of course, the evaluation, is that if we stay uh, Inside the customs union, we can't negotiate uh, new trade deals with countries outside the EU. This is the idea of the freedom to renegotiate our trade position. So staying outside would allow us to negotiate trade deals, for example, perhaps with China, with India, Australia, Vietnam, South Korea, countries that are actually growing more quickly than the European Union as a whole. Although the EU is our biggest trade partner, actually the percentage of our total trade in goods and also with services with the EU has been falling. Other parts of the world economy are growing more strongly. Perhaps we should be recalibrating and rebalancing our trade towards those countries. That's the counter argument. My second KAA point, and I'm only going to build two in my answer, is that if we leave the customs union and assuming that there is no immediate trade deal with the EU, that's a working assumption, then we would have import tariffs applied to UK exports. Good bit of knowledge here. <clears throat> the average tariff imposed by the EU on goods coming in is 4.8%. 0% on pharmaceutical products, but 11% on footwear. I think 10% on cars, 45% on tobacco. So this is a great opportunity within the essay to put a tariff diagram in. The argument is that higher tariffs, uh, which weren't there before, uh, can damage consumer welfare and also lead to a regressive effect on the distribution of income. Poorer households perhaps worse affected by a tariff. This could then lead to higher inflation, cost push inflation for example, 
and ultimately the central bank may respond to that by increasing their interest rates. So that's my main point. My second point, <coughs> counter point, evaluation point, is that uh, staying inside the customs union would mean that the UK would be obliged to follow any changes in European Union trade agreements. So we would basically be following what the EU negotiates around the world without any say in how they were negotiated. And although there would be some tariffs initially if we were outside, uh, you could make the case for saying actually the strength of the relationship between the UK and the EU will lead to eventually a, a free trade agreement. Um, and indeed average tariffs have been falling in recent years, <clears throat> so perhaps the negative effects of leaving the customs union would be slightly mitigated. Can you see what we're doing here? We're building two KA points and evaluating as we go. Always leave a couple of lines between each paragraph in the exam so the examiner can focus in on each paragraph marked by levels. So they will give a level, they will assign a level to each paragraph that you write. They'll assign a good level to a diagram if it's really quality. And if you structure your answer in a nice, clean, clear way, you will certainly help the examiners late into the evening. Great opportunities for diagrams. Here's a tariff diagram you could draw. Um, try to make it contextual. So, for example, uh, Britain might have to pay a tariff on, let's say, imported uh, I don't know, coal from the European Union or imported gas, let's say. Key in the exam is to develop your diagram and also make it contextual. So this could be the energy market in the UK, the increased cost of, of imported gas, for example. You could also use an aggregate demand and supply diagram to show a possible fall in exports or an inward shift of, ag of aggregate supply if import prices go up. You choose, but, but draw a really good diagram to support your answer and develop it from there. Don't just draw a, a partial one, really go for a, a high quality diagram. And in this one, I've shown the welfare loss potentially from having to impose a tariff. You will need to come to a final conclusion. Your exam board will tell you how long this probably needs to be. Uh, this is my final conclusion. Overall is a good phrase to use, good word to use. Continued membership of the customs union, in my opinion, is likely to be best for the UK. Now, when you're, when you're uh, writing um, an answer, yes, you can come to a view providing it's based on your economic knowledge understanding. The gravity theory of trade suggests strongly that we trade more with countries in close proximity and this is unlikely to change fundamentally in the years ahead. A bit of knowledge, EU has more than 65 free trade agreements with other countries including Canada, South Korea, Australia and there's no guarantee that the UK, there we go, there's no guarantee looking forward that the UK would be able to achieve better deals with these countries on their own. I developed my conclusion in a globalised world, keeping trade frictions low, keeping tariff and non-tariff barriers low is vital to continue to attract inward investment. Then I use Nissan as an example, as a workforce of more than 6,000 people. Um, tariffs would could threaten Nissan's investment in the UK. So Honda has already announced it's closing their Swindon plant. These are important sources of jobs and incomes for regions outside of London and provide evidence that the UK should continue to stay inside the customs union for the, for the foreseeable future. So my argument is we should stay in. I'm assuming that Brexit happens, but we should stay inside the customs union. That would be my preference, and I've tried to build it, build the argument around economics. I, my instinct is that customs unions will be really important in 2019. You'll be writing about trade, about Europe, about the economics of tariff and non-tariff barriers. So hopefully this essay plan has been a useful one to go through. So thank you.